Hey, so this is a tutorial about exporting a WAV file from Audacity and then importing that through Office 365. So if we're over here on Audacity, we have an audio file already. I've I've made my uh, I've made my changes. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click up here on uh, File, and I'm going to export audio. Now, when I export audio, I can name that file. I'll just save it to my desktop. We have lots of options here. Um, we can talk about doing uh, MP3 files later. They're actually smaller, more compressed. But when you try to export using an MP3 file from Audacity, it sometimes wants to have what's called a lame L A M E library installed. We can have a different tutorial on how to install that library if you want to have an MP3 file. But right now we're using WAV files in part to get around that, but also because they are a uh, higher quality um, format. So we're going to export as WAV to the desktop, my test file. Click Save here. So we'll just click OK. And now we have our WAV file onto our desktop. Now, I'm going to pop over to my email. And now I want to send that. So if I want to try to send that to myself, I'm going to create a new message. And this is uh, my test file. All right. Is if we click attach, and now we try to install this from our desktop. We know that's called my test file dot wave. Can open it. Now, this says, hey, this file is too large to send as an attachment. The largest you can send is 34 megabytes. So try sharing with OneDrive. But if we just click Upload and Share as a OneDrive link, we see it thinking here it's uploading this WAV file for us. And what that's doing is it's creating uh, a, f a cloud space for that file to live in. So now I've effectively attached this larger WAV file to my email and now I can send that to my professor so that when my professor wants to listen to it they can just download it to their own computer and listen to it all right that concludes this tutorial on exporting and attaching wave files in audacity thanks